Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at one to many relation in an SQL relational database. A prerequisite knowledge for this session is knowing the difference between the primary key and foreign key and what role do they play. In the prior session, we looked at one to one relation in an SQL relational database. And we said that one to one is not common. However, one to many is a common, common way in relating two tables. And eventually we would look at many to many. So in an SQL, one to many relationship is a type of a relationship between two tables. Well, we're dealing with two tables and we're gonna connect them, but the relationship is one to many. And this one is very common. It's one of the fundamental concepts of database design representing how data in one table relates to data in another table. So in one to many, what's gonna happen is this. For every record in one table, the one side table, there are multiple related records in another table, the many side table. So we're gonna have two table, one table, it's gonna be the one table and one, the other one will be the many table. But the, each record on the many table would only correspond to one record in the one table. And the best way to illustrate this is looking at an example. This relationship is also known as the parent-child master detail relationship. But once you look at an example, you will see how it's done and it will make more sense. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So let's take a look at this example. We have two tables. We have the customer table and we have the order table. Under the customer table, we're gonna have the, the primary key as the customer ID. We have the customer information such as first name, last name, address, telephone, email. We could have more information. On the order table, the order ID is the primary key. We're gonna have order date, product description, price, unit, total tax, whatever we want to add as well. And we're gonna have the customer ID as a foreign key. So to look at more realistic data, let's assume we have three customers, Adam, Heather, and Jessica, customer ID 101, 102, 103. This is the primary key, and this is the information about the three customers, their addresses, their names, so on and so forth. Now these customers placed order at our company, and these are the order table. Uh, we have an order, ID that's unique, that's the primary key for each order, the order date, the product, what they purchased, the price, how many units, and we have the foreign, as we said, the primary key is a foreign key in the order ID, and this is how the two are connected. So for example, customer 101, who's Adam, purchased the Surface Pro for $8.99, order date, and this is the order number that's unique. So how is this relationship is one to many? Well, here's what's gonna happen. In your opinion, what's the one and what's too many? Well, the one to many is this. Each customer could have multiple orders. One more time, each customer, for example, Adam, could have multiple orders. Let's see this. Adam has three orders, has order QOR A8587, this order OR A8549, and this one OR A8550. I should have chose different numbers, but that's okay. So notice, Adam is one, has many orders. Let's look at another example. Heather has two orders. Heather is 102. Heather is 102, so this is 102, and this is 102. So notice Heather also, one, one customer, one customer, let me highlight, Heather, 102 and 102. She has two orders. However, if we look at it from the other side, each order has only one customer. So each order, whatever that order happens to be, O, R, Q, let's look at the last one right here, O, R, K, seven, five, six, one. This order has only one customer, customer 103. Who happens to be, what's customer 103? Jessica. So notice 
the one to many one customer many order but each order will only have one customer going the other way so this is how we show this one one to many so this is the one and we could have many orders so where could you see this in the real world one to many well you could have it in a department employees for example in an hr database each department will have multiple employee but each employee belongs only to one department so one to many this is a relationship one to many parent and child entities for hierarchical data structures like organizational hierarchies or category trees you might have one to many for example a manager could have multiple subordinate so you could have one person and they will have multiple subordinate but each subordinate would only have one manager again this is a one-to-many relationship product and categories for example in an e-commerce database each product will belong to a specific category we could have many categories but each pro you know categories you know categories and within that let's let's just cat categories and within that category we could have many product but each product is classified under one specific category now in the next session what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the many to many it would look something like this many to many relation relationship what should you do now go to farhat lectures look at additional resources whether you are taking this for a professional professional certification studying for the cpa exam or taking this information for your accounting information system course good luck study hard and of course stay safe